hello and welcome to World Ocean Day for Schools. Today we're going to have a fantastic time diving into all things oceanic. We have a packed day planned, full of activities and lessons for you to learn more about all things blue. But first, who am I? I'm Inka Kwaswa, I'm a marine biologist and wildlife filmmaker, and I'm very excited to be your guide through this amazing day of activities. I have worked with some of the most incredible marine species all around the world. From coming eye to eye with great white sharks, working on coral restoration in the Caribbean, and even diving with whale sharks, whose backs are covered in the most amazing spots that resemble the night sky. No matter where in the world you are, there is so much life that is waiting just on your doorstep. From my local coastline, I have kelp forests, blue sharks and seals, but no matter where you are, I know that there will be tons of life and hopefully through today, you're going to get to learn a lot more about the incredible marine life that surrounds you and what you can do to protect it. Sharks are my favorite species. While they might scare a few of you, I can guarantee there is a lot more left to learn. They are full of amazing adaptations from ones that get to walk on land and can even breathe above water to those that have incredible adaptations that allow them to migrate thousands and thousands of miles across our oceans. I also am obsessed with coral reefs and I love that every time I'm diving I get to encounter new species and learn more about them. That's a little bit about why I love the ocean but I can't wait to hear more about why all of you love your local waters. In a moment, we're going to watch an animation that will tell you a little bit more about not only our ocean, but how it is an incredible defence against climate change. Let's check it out. Did you know that the ocean has superpowers when it comes to protecting our planet? It turns out that blue ecosystems are the heroes of the climate story. Here are seven reasons why. The ocean stores heat from the sun. Yes, that's right. It absorbs and retains heat from the sun which helps stabilise weather all over the world. Stable, predictable weather is great for generating renewable energy, which gives us a much better alternative to fossil fuels, helping us to seriously slow climate change. It doesn't just store heat either. The ocean acts as the biggest carbon sink on the planet. It actively draws carbon dioxide down from the atmosphere and stores that too, even more than tropical rainforests. When there are storms and extreme weather, coastal ecosystems provide incredible protection for all sorts of fish, birds and other animals, even us. Those same coastal ecosystems provide a nursery for thousands of species, fish, birds and other aquatic life we humans depend on. If we take good care of them, they can provide us with food and jobs. It doesn't stop there either. Spending time in or near the ocean and all blue spaces is proven to actively make us happier and healthier. Now you know a little bit more about what the ocean does for you. But what can you do for our oceans? Every one of us has the ability to be an ocean advocate. And that's because all of our blue spaces, no matter where you live, whether it's by the city or the coastline, are connected. So even those rivers that are far inland are linked to our sea. We're on a mission to protect all blue spaces and we need your help. Let's find out how you can become an ocean advocate. We all know that spending time outdoors is good for us. We hear about green spaces all the time. But what about all our amazing blue spaces? Spending time in or near water can make us healthier and happier. Our rivers, lakes and streams connect us all to the ocean. That means you can become an ocean advocate no matter where you live. Want to join us on a mission to protect our blue spaces? There are three simple steps. Step one, add your blue space to the map and sign the manifesto. Step two, create and share your memory map. Step three, build an action plan to protect your blue space. Ready to go? Head to worldoceanday.school to sign up today. Let's protect our future by protecting our blue. If you haven't already, now is a great time for you to figure out what your local blue space is. Maybe it's a stream, a river, or maybe you live by the coastline like me. 
My local blue space is Brighton Beach, an incredible big stretch of coastline. And this is my memory map. I can't wait to see yours and learn more about the fantastic action plans you've put together to protect your local blue space. I am so excited to share with you the fantastic lineup of events we have planned. We have five live ocean lessons and Q&As brought to you by Encounter Education and AXA Ocean Education. At 9.30, we're going to be joined by the Ocean Conservation Trust for live rock pooling. At 10 a.m., we'll be going over to Blue Marine Foundation to learn all about marine protected areas. At 11 a.m., we'll join the Marine Conservation Society to learn more about climate, me and the sea. And at 12 p.m., we will have our special guest, Greg Holder, to take a deep dive into Maldives sharks. And finally, at 2 p.m., we'll be joined by Project Sea Monkey. All the way from Malaysia, Sydney Steenland will be teaching us all about how to become a better ocean advocate. Find out how you can become a Plastic Clever School with our Kids Against Plastic Club. Learn how every drain connects to the ocean with the fantastic team at the River Trust. And find out how you can connect more to your blue spaces with Lizzie at Going Coastal. You'll also have the opportunity to some arts and crafts with Sharks for Kids. And don't miss out on the opportunity to win £300 towards protecting your local blue space with the Marine Stewardship Council by suggesting some of your most creative and innovative solutions to sustainable fishing. Find out about this and so much more on the homepage at www.worldoceanday.school.